hello guys welcome back so in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy a var file in your docker tomcat so for this you make sure you have you have pulled a tomcat of specific version from your docker hub so I'll show you an image I have actually pulled so here you can see there is an image with tomcat I have downloaded a specific version of JDK 8 here so I'm actually going to deploy a var file to this tomcat so this is simply an image which I have pulled from docker hub the command and uh, like uh, docker pull and tomcat colon JDK 8 so this will actually pull the specific version of tomcat with JDK 8 so if you simply pull the image with tomcat it will actually download the latest version of tomcat from the docker hub so in my case i needed a specific version of jdk8 so i have downloaded the jdk8 version so that's it now so to deploy a var file to your tomcat docker first you need to actually create a container of this image so how to do that is simply go with the command docker run and so on which port you would like to run this tom tomcat for example mm, which port i would like to say is that i would like to run on 9898 port and the default port of your tomcat will be 8080 okay and which image you would like to actually run so this image id so it's getting started So that means we have successfully started our tomcat in docker so i would like to create a new instance of docker's quick start terminal here so when you're actually running tomcat in your one quick start terminal it's better to open another window here so this is how so you can just check your containers now container ls so this is the image which we have used to actually start the containers you can see here double eight two four eight seven and uh, a new container id has been created and the container is running now so to just check whether your tomcat is running or not you can go with the port of your default default machine id and the port will be 9898 here so i'll just go open my browser and i'll just go with 192.168.99 okay 192.168.99.100 and port will be 9898 so you can see 8.5.47 version of from kit is running and this port so that means we have successfully started and i will try to deploy a var file to this tomcat so to deploy actually you need to actually copy a sample var file to your web apps folder of tomcat so i'll show you how to do that so here i actually have downloaded from website saying like test sec app dot var this is a simple form so when you deploy this and we run with the name test sec app then you can see actually whether this is successfully deployed or not so this is the path so f t e s t so i'm just going to copy this path and open my docker quick start terminal here first you need to actually go into the tomcat to actually copy the file so how to go into the tomcat is with the bash it's a command so just docker exec minus it go with the container id and bash so that means you are into the container 
into the tomcat now if you go with just check with the ls you can see there are folders here and there's a folder called web apps so we're just going to copy file to this so i'll just come out of this tomcat pressing ctrl d so docker cp and i'll just give the path sorry not this i'll just give this path test paste this here and this will be your your system current destination there are two arguments you need to pass for copy first will be your current path your local path so i'm just going to click on space here and you can copy this whole thing from here ae because you're actually going to copy this file this container id okay so ae and till here copy and paste and just make sure this is in single quotes and oh and just go with the folder web apps and just press enter if there is no exception raised here that means your file has been successfully copied to your tomcat web apps so we'll just check whether the file test sec app has been successfully deployed in your do uh, docker tomcat and extracted so, so we'll just go with the docker docker images sorry not images <laughs> so i'm going to actually run the bash now so this is the bash so ls so web apps so i think okay cd space web apps so ls so you can see this where has been copied successfully and deployed and extracted with the name with the same where file folder name so that means we can actually start testing with its name so i'll just go with the forward slash in the browser and test it so that's it so i'm not sure what is the username here but i am able to, i was successfully deployed with this sec dot app so this is how actually you can deploy a var file your docker term get so that's it guys thank you for watching and please do subscribe